Ooh, I feel like I'm getting high on the fumes from this doll. Like she smells like toxic, you know what I mean? Somebody recently in the comments of one of my videos said, have you seen these dolls? They're the ugliest doll on the market right now. <laughs> And I was like, surely they can't be that bad. Um, and the dolls that we're talking about are the, they're called the Art Squad dolls. So I had never seen these dolls before. And so I looked them up because obviously when somebody's like, this is the ugliest doll that exists, I have to see what the f they're talking about. And honestly, in the promo images, I was like, oh, those don't look that bad. Cause like, you know, I was like, those are kind of cute. And then I saw like the promo pictures of the doll herself. And I was like, oh, she looks cute-ish. Um, <laughs> I just got the doll in person. It, I, I, I will admit, this is not the prettiest doll that I have ever seen. Um, there's something about their face, but we're gonna unbox her today. Uh, so this doll, the only reason I bought this, to be completely frank, is because it was like $9. Like these are super on sale on Amazon at this time of me filming. So I just bought one. But honestly, sometimes there's something about a doll that's like, so different, even if it's not necessarily in a good way, that I really like it. <laughs> so maybe I'll really like her, honestly, because she's just very different. Uh, mine came all busted up in the packaging, which is a classic, a classic move if you're if you buy dolls from Amazon. <laughs> They're always they always come like all busted up. But let me get her out of this box. So there seems to be some sort of like art activity involved with this doll. In the image on the back, the little girl's like drawing on the doll. So maybe we'll try that. I'm not sure. Sure. Um, let's get her out of here. I try, I try to be a good person. I try. I try to be a good person. I try to be nice because I, I don't know who designed these dolls. I don't know anything about them, to be completely honest. It's not, it's never about like the designer. You know what I mean? There are a lot of reasons that a doll will come out maybe not, <laughs> not looking the best. <laughs> and usually it's not the designer's fault, at least in my opinion. Like no designer wants to make like a creepy doll. That's like nobody's goal. But sometimes it does happen. It always seems like it's gonna be easy to get these out and it never is. What is this? It's just a piece of cardboard. What am I, am I supposed to do something with this? It's kind of like presented to me like I'm supposed to use it for something. And then there's like stickers. I guess you put these on her face it looks like. It looks like there's like eyelashes. All right, so these dolls do have names by the way. This one is Vanna. <laughs> there's something about her face. It doesn't sit right with me. Yeah. Her hair feels kind of rough. Uh, it's probably Polly, I think, probably. Her face, I feel like she's like, I feel like she's like disappointed in me. <laughs> she looks so mad at me. Like, I mean, <laughs> She also, she's a very large headed doll, but the head is actually kind of soft, which I don't love. Usually when a doll has a bigger head, uh, like an OMG doll or like a Rainbow High doll, they usually try to give it to you like a, like a harder plastic so it doesn't like cave in on itself. It comes with like a keychain of some sort. It comes with a picture frame and then a picture of Vanna that you can color. See, that's cute. See, that's, here's the thing. The art is actually kind of cute. I actually don't hate the art. Like that, this, this art is a completely different face <laughs> than this. <laughs> it's like, there's a big difference between these two things. Do you know what I mean? It's like, there's something lost in translation in the sculpt of this face. But like this art is actually pretty cute. If the doll looked like this, like she feels like like a first draft. Like this feels like, you know when people, when people buy like, when people find like unreleased prototypes of dolls, that's kind of what this feels like. I just feel like she's mad at me. I'm, I'm really just now just processing her outfit. So her outfit's just absolutely insane. So her outfit is, oh. she has these like enormous earrings that you're obviously supposed to color, I guess along with this like giant headpiece thing. All of which I presume you're intended to like color. That's fine. It's just like, why are they so big though? Like that's so weird. You can't wear earrings this big that are like the size of half of your body. That's just insane. It's just not, it's not practical. And then her, she has this jean jacket. Oh, she smells bad. She has that like cheap doll smell. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the, is it the poly hair that makes that like cheap doll smell? Okay, so she's got a jean jacket and then she's got this like white fabric thing. I think this is what you're meant to color. And then these like pink like salmon shorts and then these shoes. 
The shoes are actually not, they're not, it's like nothing's horrible. Like nothing about this is horrible. It's just, this is just a wild outfit. But I also understand that like, it's supposed to be like colored. So, so we're gonna color it, I guess. So they do give you, they give you little paint brushes and paints. And then they give you like little, little things to color. I was gonna say, am I supposed to paint her outfit? But no, I think you're just supposed to color it with the little markers. They give you red, blue, and green. And then they give you these little paints which are red. They should be red, yellow, and blue in theory. This blue looks a little wonky. It's like a very unpigmented blue. So if you're trying to mix them, I don't know how that would turn out for you, but I guess we'll, I guess we'll find out, won't we? This reminds me of those, um, are they called What's Her Face dolls? Remember those dolls where you like drew their face on? It's giving that, but like not quite as creepy as those, but like somehow like still creepy. <laughs> So first off, I guess we're I guess we're meant to pick eyeshadow stickers. I think I'm liking the middle one. <laughs> so the sticker does match up with her actual eye shape. However, it doesn't seem to stick super well. Like it just kind of peels right back off instantly. So I don't think we're gonna be able to use these stickers. So that's already off to a good start. But let's start with trying to color her outfit, I think. I think that'll be a fun way to start. Shorts over leggings? Not even leggings, these are basically pants. Yeah, she's literally like wearing pants and she's wearing shorts over the pants. Like what the f If I draw on this right now, is it not going to like literally dye her skin under the outfit? Like, am I silly to think that? The marker works. Okay, let's try to color on her outfit. It is it is actually kind of working. It's working a little bit. Her body is like a hard plastic. So even though it does seep through, it doesn't actually stain her body, which is nice. Getting a little sloppy here because <laughs> I'm starting to not care. <laughs> like five seconds in, I'm starting to not care. I hope you like the weird color combination of green, blue, and salmon pink. I used to work at a country club and sometimes when people would bring their kids, we would have like crafts for them to do. Like I was like a banquet server, but like sometimes when you're a banquet server, you're expected to entertain children at a country club. I don't know why, but I do remember like we used to like put together like crafts and stuff for them. This would actually, this would have been a great thing to give the kids to do actually. We'd keep them busy, that's for sure. Uh, do we wanna do her pants? Her pants seem like a time investment. <laughs> Honestly though, it, it's actually working. Like the, the, it doesn't look great because I'm just kind of like filling it in kind of randomly, but I do think like it's, it's fine. Like honestly for like a kid, I think they might enjoy that quite a bit. Okay, the thing I wanted to try though, the thing I was really curious about is these paints. So I'm gonna try the paint on this little flower thing. Let's see how it goes. It's very much giving like watered down, unsaturated paint for children. I did my best. Tried to paint her little flower thing. These paints are like the shitty little paints for kids that barely work. So that's kind of to be expected. They're super watered down and like unsaturated. I suspect that that's because they want them to be easy to clean for when your kid gets it all over your house and like paints your walls with it. So I'm assuming that's what it is. I was just curious to see if the paint would stick to her face. It's not really working. It just looks like she just ate a bunch of Cheetos or something. I'm not really sure. But she does also come with this little hair comb. So you could try to comb her shitty hair if you really want to. It's, it's very much like the cheapest hair you could get. So that's great. <laughs> that's great. Since I got this doll for less than $10, not a bad deal. Like I'm not mad about it. Like it's actually not half bad for less than $10. Her face is not my favorite, but honestly, the more I look at it, the less creepy it is. It's, it's still not my favorite though. It just, it just, she looks mad. Like, is that what kids want? I don't know. I feel like if, if Mattel has taught me anything, it's that kids want their dolls to be like smiling which I guess she's kind of smiling, but like she doesn't seem happy about it. She's very much like smiling for a picture that she doesn't want to be in. She looks like she wants to kill me. Also, they chose to do for the glare in her eyes. That's not actually, I don't have a ring light by the way. That's literally like they put a ring light glare in her eyeballs, which I think is kind of wild, but also it, I guess it kind of makes sense because like that's kind of the world we live in now where it's like everybody is taking photos with a ring light. So I guess maybe that's what people are used to seeing. If I had paid full retail price, these retailed at $25, not worth it. No, nar, no. And that's, and that's the thing is it's like, I don't understand how a doll like this is gonna try to charge $25 when you can get like a, a monster high doll or like, <laughs> or like a rainbow high doll or whatever for 25 bucks. And I get that this is, I think this is a smaller company. So I 
get it, like they're gonna, it's gonna cost them more to produce these dolls than like MGA and, and Mattel, et cetera. But you can make pretty dolls on, on a budget. Like I've seen it done. Ooh, I feel like I'm getting high on the fumes from this doll. Like she smells like toxic, you know what I mean? But yeah, I guess the question stands though, is like, is she the ugliest doll on the market? Like, are these the ugliest dolls you can buy? <laughs> I want to say no. I want to say no. She's not that bad. Because, like, she really, like, at the end of the day, it's like, she's still a fine doll. I mean, she's, there's nothing, uh, like, horribly wrong with her. I don't like her head sculpt. It feels like she has a bigger head than an OMG doll. Like, if I was going to go to a, a toy store, like, what dolls would I see? There would be OMG dolls, Rainbow High dolls. Uh, there'd be Barbie, there'd be Monster High. There's also smaller dolls though, like Hair Dorables and stuff like that. Uh, but whoever commented about these dolls being the ugliest doll on the market, I think you might be right. <laughs> At the same time, for $9, I, you know, she's kind of not a bad deal. I do feel like she's might be like a cursed object though. Like I think there's a possibility that she might be, um, actually like wanting to kill me. If you do like doll videos, I make doll videos all the time. Always here playing with dolls and unboxing dolls. So you can check out this doll video over here. But thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.